Letty and I just went on our very first plane trip. It was not my first, but it was her first. Hey. She is almost four months old, so I hey. consider it still traveling with a newborn, and hey. I, we wanted hey. to share with hey. you, she's very excited, clearly. <laughs> we wanted to share the top products that we brought. Hey. I thought I needed hey. some things, and hey. turns out I was wrong, so let's get into it. I will link as much as possible below for you. One of the top products is the Duna Stroller. We love this thing in general, but for traveling, especially in the airports and on the planes, it's perfect. So you cannot, well, you can take this as a car seat onto the plane if you really wanted a car seat for your baby, but for me, she's too little and I was fine holding her on my lap. Um, you can pay for a seat, put the car seat on, that's fine. But we always checked it at the gate. So a couple things that I really like about it is obviously it's very small and compact. You can have the handle like this and roll it around just like this. You can have the handle right here and push it like a normal stroller just like this. So I didn't have to carry her through the airport. That was a huge deal. I could just roll her everywhere. If you check it at the gate, they um, put it away for you. You get on the plane. When you get off the plane, you just sit there and wait for five minutes, they bring it to you, and then you have it for your layover or for getting off or um, out of the airport. Um, it does have a shade, which is great because I like to like put a blanket over it. It's nice and dark for naps, that kind of thing. Um, but the coolest part, obviously, is that it is a stroller, but when you need it, it's also a car seat and you don't need a base for it either. So for us, here's how you put it into the stroller method again. So for us, having this, you don't need it, uh, you don't need a car like base for it. You can um, loop it with a seat belt. You can secure it into your car with a seat belt. That was huge because we didn't need to pack an extra base. And you could Uber, you could a taxi, you could put it on a bus, you could, put it in your family's car, whoever's picking you up from the airport. Um, so this I deemed pretty essential to traveling. We use it all the time. Next up, I would recommend a pacifier with a clip and a burp rag. So it kind of works as one system. You can, she's very excited clearly. You can clip this to your shirt, all of it to your shirt. That's what I did so that I wouldn't drop my burp rag. I wouldn't drop the pacifier or you can clip it to her stroller or her shirt. My baby is very spitty and so this was perfect for her. <laughs> Obviously, if your baby doesn't use a pacifier, you might not need this, but it helps a ton. Yeah, tell them. Next top product would be the Medi Pacifier. It is by Frida. We use this at home a lot, but it really helped me on the plane because I am breastfeeding. So my plan was to breastfeed her while we took off so that her ears could pop. Um, but if it wasn't like time for her to eat, she's not gonna wanna just like lay on me. She's not that type of baby. And so if I needed her to suck to pop her ears um, or I needed her to calm down, I used this with I packed a little Ziploc of gripe water. It's, you know, you can use as much as, um, as, much of it as you want for your baby. Um, and so I would pre-draw the gripe water into here, keep it in the Ziploc. And if she was inconsolable or if she needed to suck to pop her ears, then this is what I would do for her. Um, she loves gripe water. If your baby nece doesn't necessarily love gripe water or it's never had it, maybe try it before you leave and just see what happens. Um, but what I would do is kind of like leave the amount in there and then hold it. See, she loves this thing. Um, I'd hold it so that it was like really slow. She couldn't suck it out. So she'd be sucking it for like maybe 10 minutes. Um, and then I also brought a little thing of Tylenol just in case, obviously you don't wanna travel without like baby Tylenol just in case. Right? Obviously you want to be very comfortable when you're flying. So I chose to wear this really flowy shirt and I'll show you how it ties so it looks like semi-normal. 
Um, I am a, obviously breastfeeding and so for me this shirt was perfect. I didn't have to like lug around a cover or a blanket. I just went like this. It covers her up and I fed her like this. If you have a baby, maybe you're bottle feeding and like they like the dark, they need it to be like they need to be close to you, that kind of thing. This was perfect. I thought I would need a carrier for my baby, but I didn't use it. I brought it, but I didn't use it. So if you have a new, new baby, think about a carrier because maybe they'll just be like close to you and that's what where they'll be the entire flight. For us, this was what worked. But let me show you um, how this shirt works. So it's very flowy, long, it opens in the back, and it kind of looks like weird, in my opinion, like kind of silly, um, but it ties to where if you just want to wear it like normal and look semi-presentable, this is just a cute option. So there are a couple different companies that make shirts like this, but this one is from Balance Athletica. It was perfect, cute, lightweight, perfect for flying. Lastly, I brought a large blanket. I chose to bring a heavier one that's black on the inside. This is um, one from Copper Pearl. And I loved that I brought a bigger one because I can drape it over the stroller. I um, also used it kind of like as a pillow for my arm when I was breastfeeding. I could use it to cover her up if it was cold. I could cover both of us up if we were both cold. And then I really, to carry it around the airport, I just kind of like draped it around my neck like a scarf. So that is what, th those are my top products, but just to give you some tips to end with, I would say just pack as light as possible, just bring the things that you need. Think like one toy, um, one, like a couple diapers, a couple wipes, uh, and then you can always get the things that you need at your destination. Um, I chose to bring a backpack, so I wore that on my back, and I strapped a crossbody bag or a fanny pack with all my important stuff, like right here. I clipped the um, pacifier and the burp rag to me and then had the blanket around my neck. So if I was traveling alone, I could totally do it, pushing her around in the Duna stroller. Um, if you have any questions or you're kind of like, should I bring this, would this be helpful? Please comment down below. Um, I've seen backpacks that turn into a bassinet. We didn't bring those, but I did consider it. So if you've traveled with that, please comment below and let me know how that worked for the future. Um, or if you think that I forgot something that is important to you, comment down below. I'd love to learn more from you guys and see what you have found helpful. So that is it. I hope you liked this video and remember to uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up because that's that always helps us out comment and share with someone that uh, has a newborn and they have to travel subscribe if you have not you're worth it